So if you're not getting no fuel pressure up at the engine on the fuel rail, but you know the fuel pump is pumping, that's not the issue. And so either you just replace the fuel pump and it's new, or you tested the pressure back at the fuel pump, and so you know it's good. But for some reason, you're just not getting fuel pressure up to the engine at the fuel rail. Then I thought I'd go over some of the most common causes and fixes for this. And so the number one thing is going to be that it has a clogged fuel filter. And this is going to vary a little bit because sometimes you'll have a fuel filter located inside of the gas tank. So if it is located inside the gas tank and you are getting fuel pressure out of the gas tank with the fuel pump, then that won't be the issue. But quite often there's a fuel filter located between the gas tank and the engine. So if your vehicle's like this, go check out the fuel filter and see if it's clogged up. And this is very common is that the fuel filter just become clogged up and it's just stopping the gas from flowing through and causing an issue. So the line can't build up any pressure inside of it. And if your vehicle does have a fuel filter like this, then it's a good idea just to go and replace it. Since this is part of regular maintenance anyway, it'd be a good idea to go ahead and replace that fuel filter and be sure that it's not the issue. So number one is going to be a clogged fuel filter. And next up is going to be that the fuel filter was installed backwards for some reason. And while not too common, it is something to keep an eye out for. Somebody might have installed the fuel filter and they might have installed it backwards. There's a flow to these. There's only a certain way that they're supposed to be installed. And when they're installed backwards, it could cause all kinds of issues. Sometimes the vehicle will work, but the fuel pressure won't be good. Other times it won't work at all. It's really gonna vary, but that's just something to keep an eye out for is that maybe somebody installed the fuel filter backwards when they installed it. And so the second thing is gonna be the fuel filter was installed backwards. And the next thing to cause this is gonna be the fuel pressure regulator. And not all vehicles are gonna have a fuel pressure regulator, but if your vehicle does, you'll wanna go and check it out. And while these usually don't cause an issue or block the fuel from going through in the lines. It is a part of the fuel system, so it'll be something to go and check out. So go check it out and either test it or replace it to be sure that it's not blocking the fuel pressure from going up to the engine. And the next thing is gonna be that you got a clogged fuel line somewhere. And while this isn't super common, sometimes stuff does get inside the gas tank or rust inside the gas tank or things like this, and somehow they got past the fuel filter and got into the lines, then that can cause all kinds of problems. And so if you do have an older vehicle and you have a lot of rust or things like this, or something got inside the gas tank, then that would definitely be something to check for is that for some reason something's inside the lines and it's clogging them. So number four is going to be clogged fuel line. And the next thing is going to be that you got a leak in the fuel line somewhere. And this is fairly common, especially in older vehicles. The gas lines can become rusted or they were rubbing together and they could just cause a small leak. Usually when this happens, you'll see a gas puddle underneath the vehicle somewhere, which will point you to where the problem or the issue is. Of course, again, it could vary, but that is very common. So if you are having this problem, look underneath the vehicle and be sure that there's no puddles and you don't have a leak somewhere inside of one of these gas lines because they can get rusted up and start leaking or the bolts that hold them in place could have come loose and they could be vibrating underneath there and they could be rubbing up against metal, which causes a leak too. And so number five is going to be to check for a leaky fuel line. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the common causes when you have no fuel pressure but the fuel pump is working and some things you could go and look for if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day